Love has brought Zena and Hannes together. Well, love and Kate and I, who urged Zena to dance with a handsome stranger on her birthday just over two years ago in Lausanne. They didn't dance right away because Zena was shy. So we had to uh, trick Hannes into taking a picture with us by telling him he looks like Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, he believed us. Yeah. <laughs> And here we are. So over the past two years, we've all been witness to this beautiful couple's connection blossom into a deep and profound love. You hear their love for one another in the tone of their voice. You see it in the way they look at each other, and you witness it in their actions. Very so often you hear them confess, you know I love you. <laughs> Yeah, it was a mixture of the two. Can we hear it? I was trying to. Mine. Okay. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> this powerful love didn't happen overnight. It is one based on kindness and generosity, acceptance, selflessness, and compromise. It is based on their genuine desire to make each other happy every day. Of course, their good sense of uh, humor doesn't hurt either. <laughs> when Zena moved back to Dubai, their love didn't know space or time. Love beckoned and they followed, and the universe worked very quickly to reunite them. Before they knew it, Zena was packing up her life in Dubai to start a new one with Hannes and Lena. Zena and Hannes. Your bond is special and rare. Nurture it and guard it, as it is your most priceless asset, which you will one day pass on to your children. I want to leave you with the words of... <laughs> leave you with the words of Khalil Gibran to take you on your journey together. Love has no desire but to fulfill itself. But if you love and must needs have desires, let these be your desires. To melt and be like a running brook that sings its melody to the night. To know the pain of too much tenderness to be wounded by your own understanding of love. And to bleed willingly and joyfully, to wake at dawn with a winged heart and give thanks for another day of loving. To risk at the noon hour and meditate love's ecstasy. To return home at eventide with gratitude. And then to sleep with a prayer for the beloved in your heart and a song of praise upon your lips. It has been an honor, first of all, to do this. <laughs> I want to invite the two of you now to exchange your vows in front of all your friends, family, and loved ones.
everything just fell into place. Whenever we come together, we part. And then we have to think of you, it's easier, and it's more fun. I don't know if I should sing this part. Whether it's your chicken dances, very important. Whether it's your red haircuts, fix it skills, the ways it's been played, much more. So from now until we're in, I'm going. I'll be laughing at all your jokes and appreciating everything. Aww. <laughs> okay. Um, first of all, Lena was scared to do it, and I'm very glad to be here to this because she said. And I don't want to do a speech, I'm, I'm really scared of that. But I really wanted to do a speech because I prepared the speech one year ago, more or less. Oh, I think I copied it already. <laughs> no, um, so it's more a story. So the story is how I told Zena the first time that I love her. And it was uh, January the 3rd, it was a Friday of 2014. Do you know where we were? She doesn't know. That's good. <laughs> because I, probably I told her before, but I think that's the first time I remember telling her I love her. Because telling somebody that you love, um, it's not that easy the first time. Because I don't know. Like it, it's not like, honey, could you pass me the salt? By the way, I love you. You, you cannot do it like that. So um, I don't know. It's not too easy to say. I'm shivering. Um, so anyhow, we were in Abu Dhabi. At Sheikh Zayed, Sheikh Zayed Mosque. Right? So, whoever has seen it, it's a beautiful mosque, very big, very wide. But of course, it's a mosque, so you have to wear a headscarf. And Zena is not so good at, at wearing headscarves. She, she basically just puts them on top of her head, <laughs> and, and then they always fall off. So we were standing outside of this beautiful mosque, and this beautiful girl. Basically, once again, her headscarf started falling off, and she she put it back on, and she in the moment, in that moment, she was just I don't know, so perfect and beautiful. So it just blurred out of me, I love you, and then she said, told me back, I love you too, <laughs> and then and, and then we were about to kiss, but then we realized that we were at a mosque, right? <laughs> we, we, probably, we probably shouldn't kiss, so we, we gave each other a hug. <laughs> Anyhow, I think, I think since then, I probably told you every day that I love you. And it was hard to tell you the first time that I love you, but loving you is, I think, the easiest thing for me. Wow. And, and I, I, I try to keep it. What do we have to do now? Yeah, I think uh, uh, punchline would be good, but I don't have any. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, Hannes, um, actually, Zena first. Thank you. You may now kiss. You're not in a mosque. Around and drinking and cooking. There will be some pictures and then there will be more food and more. 